Over 26,000 families across the country have been affected by floods as a result of El Nino, according to Kenya Red Cross Society. The counties of Wajir, Garissa, and Mandera are the most affected, with homes being submerged and lives being disrupted. East Africa Community and ASAL Region Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza today visited Wajir and Mandera Counties County to assess the flood situation. Rose Wangoi has the details. Heavy rains continue to pound northeastern region, leaving behind deaths, destruction and displacement. In Wajir County, the ongoing rains have caused severe flooding, affecting over 2,000 people and destroying their sources of livelihoods. The floods have also submerged local schools, hospitals and roads, hampering service delivery and access to markets. The East African Community and Asal Region Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza was on a fact-finding mission in Wajir County to assess the flood situation. The worst affected areas include Diff, Bute, Eldas and Bona. Some areas cannot be accessed because they have been submerged by the floods. Um, while 19 counties are affected in the entire country, the counties of Wajia and Mandera are the most affected. A number of those towns have been completely cut off from the rest of the country, which means that there is no supply getting in and no one moving out. Mandera County is battling severe floods which have impacted over 5,000 households. According to humanitarian agencies, the numbers are likely to rise as the rains continue to pound the area. Elwak town is completely flooded. The heavy rains have submerged and destroyed many houses and toilets in surrounding local areas. In the aftermath of the heavy rains, numerous families were left homeless and without access to food. Locals fear breakout of waterborne diseases as the rains increase in the village and the displaced are struggling to survive through the situation. Mandera North and Mandera East remain the most affected following the heavy rains that led to River Dawa busting its banks and flooding all nearby homesteads. According to Kenya Red Cross Society, 13,473 people residing in the counties of Ojir, Garissa and Mandera are the most affected. And we believe the county governments do not have the capacity to to, to uh, do anything about what is happening now. So we're asking the government uh, to intervene. And work, uh, which we realize actually we need to do something very urgently because the entire town is already submerged and uh, the situation is very critical. We need to evacuate people in that place. The CS says the government will support all the affected families with sanitation products and assorted food staff to cope with the situation. From what I saw today, we really need to hike the game higher because now it's not about provision of food or non-food uh, items. My ministry will be working together with our partners so that we can also begin uh, mobilizing resources. Area residents have however been advised to move to safer places. In the latest weather forecast, the Meteorological Department has warned that heavy rainfall is expected to continue in most parts of the country. Rosongoi, NTV.